Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you one of my favorite videos that I film and upload for you guys and that is a Target haul because when it comes to Target, I just have no self-control but I think that that is the most fun. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and let's get started because I am jazzed about everything that I got today. All right, so Target is seriously bringing its A game with the apparel. So I'm actually gonna save that for the second half. I wanna just first very quickly show you some of the more miscellaneous things that I purchased. The first of which being this three pack of patriotic hair ties. The brand is just trimmings. I don't think actually that's the brand name. Maybe that's just what they're calling these, like hair trimmings. But they were $5.99 for the pack of three. And as you can see, they have a red and white bandana, a chambray with some stars, and then a red and white stripe. So I thought that these were perfect for Memorial Day, for 4th of July, but also just for summer in general. If you're going on a cruise, so they're very nautical themed. Um, for the Epcot American Pavilion, if you're wanting to dress Americana and get some cute pictures in there. I think that there's just a lot of good opportunities to wear these. And as you guys, I'm sure can tell from my videos, I love wearing my hair up. I did just get my hair cut. Um, I like to have it at about collarbone or shoulder length in the summer because summer in Florida is brutal. So I do like to keep my hair off of the back of my neck, but I still like doing like a little top knot or whatever. I think that just having your hair up is kind of fun, especially when you can put on some fun hair trimmings. So I did pick that up. The next thing that I got was this dog toy from the new Sun Squad brand that Target's offering. This I think was $7 and I had to get it because my mom loves flamingos. She has been having such a flamingo moment since we moved to Florida and I thought that this was too precious to leave behind. What I also really liked about it is it does have some rope so if I'm playing tug of war with Eli, I can, I've got a place to hold and pull um, but he can still kind of grab from either the plush sides or the rope legs, kind of however he wants to play with it. So I did grab that for him. And then the other thing that I got aside from apparel were movies. They had a bomb section of $15 and under. Some movies were $7.50. A lot of movies were $5. All of these movies were $5. And I realize it's not the newest release movies, but sometimes you have to get those classics into your movie collection. Yes, I have Netflix. Yes, I have Hulu, but sometimes it's nice and these aren't always on those streaming services and you want to watch them. So it's good to have a physical copy as well. The first one that I grabbed was actually for my husband. It is The Great Gatsby with Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio and Carrie Mulligan. Um, I believe this is not the only version of Great Gatsby. I think there is an older version, um, but this is the one that he loves because it kind of has the modern music mixed in so he really enjoyed that next is breakfast club this is the 30th edition which is 30th anniversary edition which is crazy to think that this movie has been out for 30 years um but i mean molly ringwald emilio estevez you guys know i'm sure and if you haven't seen this movie go to target and pick it up it's five dollars and watch it you will thank me later also molly ringwald is 16 candles fabulous movies my mom grew up with these movies, so then in turn, I kind of grew up with them, so I'm very nostalgic for 80s, early 90s. And then this one, I've been wanting to watch, but cannot find on Netflix and Hulu, and I found it for $5, so I just grabbed it. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. It's 10 Things I Hate About You with Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger. Um, so I've been wanting to watch it, so I'm actually gonna pop this in and watch it after I am done filming. Um, so that is all of the miscellaneous items that I snagged. I'm going to go ahead and move on to clothes because your girl got a big old bag and it's mostly all for me. There's one thing for my husband in there, but mostly all for me. The first thing that I am noticing is the coming back of the crop top. Was not a huge fan of crop tops, kind of digging it more this year. I saw this one and loved it. It is a kind of light heather gray with Mickey Mouse. And I like that the print and Mickey himself are kind of watercolor. 
I do have a shirt from Uniqlo that has mini on it that has the kind of same watercolor illustration and I really like that. I just think it's very soft and very nice for summertime so I grabbed that and to go with it I also grabbed these matching shorts. These are from Wild Fable. Wild Fable is definitely one of the lines that Target offers that I love to just look through constantly because I feel like they come out with some really good pieces and I have been wanting a pair of paper bag waist shorts for quite some time so I was really excited that I found these and I also really like that they are not the traditional denim color that they're kind of more like a corally red so I thought that that went really well. The other crop top that I got was the Lion King and this one was $14.99 same as the Mickey one um, and I thought that this was perfect for when the live action comes out. I do want to wear this when we go. And I do have a really fun pair of Disney Park ears that are Animal Kingdom theme. They're just black sequin ears with an animal print bow. I thought that they would look really nice with this. So I snagged that as well. The next couple things I got were from Universal Thread. Again, another line that I absolutely love and love to frequent their section. Now this is just a simple shift dress. It is solid red. It does have some stitching to create three tiers, so it does kind of give it some shape and is not just boxy on your body. And this was $27.99, but I thought it would look really nice with a really pretty belt. Um, I'm kind of wanting maybe like a macrame or even something a little more glam like a rhinestone belt. I think will just add a lot to this outfit. So I grabbed that. I also think I found my 4th of July outfit. I have one other one that I'm going to kind of go in between. Um, this is also my Universal Thread, as I said. I don't think I mentioned the dress. It was $27.99. This romper is $29.99. Um, but it is a romper, so it does have legs instead of it being just a traditional dress. And it is navy with very thin red and white striping. Um, vertically so that kind of elongates you and it does come with a tie around the waist I just thought that this fit me very well and another thing that I really appreciated about it was I'm sure it's meant to be cropped on most women but on me because I'm 5'2 it hits exactly at my ankles so I don't have to pay to get it altered which is wonderful so I very much appreciated that so I'm either gonna wear that or this I did find these shorts from Universal Thread as well. These were $16.99, and they kind of are major baseball vibes, but they're so cute, and I really want to go to a baseball game, wear these, or on a cruise, or, I mean, there are just so many things that this is so perfect for. This is really just like the epitome of summer to me, um, and... They're just too darn cute. I love them. To go with that, uh, from Wild Fable, again, I picked up just a plain white crop top because I figure with shorts, with that loud of a print, you probably need something pretty simple on top. So I grabbed this. This was $7. Cropped. Super chic. Love. And then the very last thing apparel-wise that I did pick up was, like I said, for my husband, not for me. Um, I just got him a plain red shirt to go underneath this shirt I'm going to show you. This is from the Goodfellow brand and was $6. You cannot go wrong with that. But I wanted it to go under this. It is a Pizza Planet button up, as you can see. He loves the style of shirt, kind of like the dad or tourist bold print top that he likes to wear with his little cotton shorts from Old Navy. So I thought that this would be really sweet with the red underneath, the buttons left open, and then his little denim cotton shorts. Um, I thought would be so cute to wear to studios or just anywhere um, on the weekend. I thought he would really appreciate that. The last thing that I got is actually from Payless. So they are going out of business, which is a bummer because I really actually love Payless. I don't go in there as often as I would like because shoe shopping is actually one of my least favorite things to shop for. I am not a shoe shopper. I definitely prefer clothes and accessories and other things. So once I find a pair of shoes, I just run them into the ground <laughs> before I get new ones. Um, but everything was 40% off, so I had to swing in. 
and I actually got the exact same pair of shoes in two different colors because I just loved them so much and I thought they were so versatile. So they are from the American Eagle brand. I don't know why I'm holding both of the same color. Let me hold uh, the different color here. And they are a kind of strappy, stretchy wedge and the wedge is not too high, which I appreciate. It's probably three or four inches, but because it's a wedge and not a heel, it's very easy to walk in. Got it in red and black, as I said. They were originally $29.99, but I got them 40% off, so I think I paid $38 total for both pairs, which is not too bad at all. And that is everything that I got from Target and Payless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.